In this video, we'll make a construction documentation layout of this phone stand. However, we're going to do it in Autodesk Fusion 360. The reason is that to do this in SketchUp, you need to have layout, which is a pro feature. So importing this into Fusion may be an option for those with SketchUp Make. Know that not all SketchUp models can be laid out in Fusion. It helps if the model is solid. If you click on Entity Info, you can see that this is solid and this is solid. I can combine them in SketchUp or I can combine them in Fusion. I'm going to combine them in Fusion. In Fusion, Click the data panel open, click upload, and then drag and drop the SketchUp file into it. Then click upload, and it'll take about a minute to upload. When complete, click close, and then look for the file. It often takes a while to render. Once it does, double click to bring it into the workspace. These are two separate parts. I need to combine them, but before I can do that, I need to convert them to a solid. Note that it entered in the sculpt mode. Click on model, then right click on one part and choose mesh to be rep. This converted very easily because it was a solid model in SketchUp. And the same with this one. If the model isn't solid in SketchUp, it may not convert this easily or it may not convert at all. Once the parts are converted, click Modify, Combine, click them, click OK, and now this is one big part. I'm going to rotate this. It's a bit crooked there, I can see. So I'll try to straighten it out. And now let's bring it in to the 2D environment. Hover over Drawing and click From Design. I'm going to dimension this in inches and put it on a small sheet. And there it is. I can choose the scale here. If I want to make it really big, I'll choose 1 to 2 and I'll move it around. Now, if I right-click on it, I'll get another base view, and I can choose its scale, make it the same or different. I have all these options here, like projected view. Hit Enter when you're done. So you can see that angle is causing me some grief, and I can go back and fix that, but I'm not going to here. I want to show you another interesting view, Section View. Select Parent View. I want a section here. And there's my section. I can annotate any of these I, by clicking Text. I'm sure you'll want to say something more informative than that. And I can also dimension these. I can also double click on any of this and rename things. And so that's an overview of how to make a layout from a model.